Hi, it's Mike Stevenson here. In today's video, we're going to have a look at um, some enhancements we've been doing in Turbo 360 to try and give you better visibility of reservation recommendations and opportunities to help save some money on your reserve environment. So over here um, in Turbo 360, and the key point is this tree view on the left. So I'm looking at my Document 360 team so I've broken the cost down to manage different teams and departments can manage their own cost. We want to decentralize cost management to get everybody involved. I'm over here in my optimization tab, which is where we're going to have a look at this new feature. So now I'm on the reservation tab here. And what we've done previously, we had a switch to allow you to see either Turbo 360 recommendations or a zero advisor recommendations and what I wanted to do was really put them both in front of the user to help them maximize the um, the opportunities to um, save some money so I think um, in practice we get some slightly different recommendations from a zero advisor and turbo 360 and I think seeing both sets is the best way to, to maximize the savings so one of the things we find when we speak to a lot of customers is um, they have lots of Azure Advisor recommendations that they just don't act on. So imagine, you know, that whole problem of the centralized team who look after Azure Admin have thousands of recommendations. They might get hundreds of recommendations, but they don't really know what they relate to because they're not involved with the application. And the application team tend not to see the recommendations so they miss these opportunities to save money. So for us here on the tree view, these are all the recommendations that relate to the Document 360 team. And what we've done is we've created two tabs so you can see these side by side. On the basic recommendation tab under reservations, I've got all of the things that the Document 360 team could do um, in terms of a zero advisor recommendation. So you can see there's a few recommendations come up in the list down here with some potential savings they could benefit from. Now, what you can do from here is you could click on one of these and you could get a bit of information about what this recommendation covers. Um, what we've done with Turbo 360 with our more advanced recommendations is we're trying to look more specifically at the resources and see how they would help benefit from this reservation recommendation. So you can see here in the list, it looks a bit different because we've got a bit more detail, but also we've got um, an identification that here, some resources have had a reservation act on them recently and other resources are flagging up to say, look, you haven't got a reservation benefiting from this. You could potentially have some cost savings over on the uh, right hand side here. So what I can do from here is I need to make a decision if these are good. So I can click this resource here and I could go and have a look at the usage of the resource to get a flavor of how it's being used. I could see some details about what the, rec the recommendation for the reservation covers. If um, one of the recommendations we sometimes get that's quite cool is we sometimes get a recommendation that says downgrade this resource because it's over provisioned and you already have a reservation with space on it that might act on this resource. That's kind of like a double recommendation. Um, and really what we're trying to show here is how are your reservations benefiting the resources at the moment? And then I can go over here and I can also click to view reservations. So you can see I've got quite a lot of reservations have been purchased. Some of them are fully used. Some of them have some space on. If we have a look at this one here, we can see you know, we've got a bit of detail about um, its usage, um, how many, you know, what quantities currently apply into it and that kind of thing and how much it's been used recently. And really, um, you know, on this particular feature, what we're trying to do is just give you that good visibility on the, res uh, the recommendations. So from the Turbo 360 side, we're analysing resources and whether they've had a reservation applied to them whether they would benefit from it and then we're also bringing in on the basic recommendations the azure advisor ones to make sure you're not missing out on anything azure might also be telling you that should give you a nice big round picture of all the reservation related recommendations for the document 360 team in my case but it could be your hr department costs 
it could be your customer website or whatever you know whatever you're managing on the tree to manage the cost and you basically let each team take ownership of their own costs they can see the recommendations that would apply to them and then hopefully teams will be much more likely to act on them and take up those recommendations and not be missing out on stuff for a long period thank you for listening to today's video we hope this feature is just meant to make it a bit easier to, to manage cost and, and see these opportunities that you might be missing. Thank you. Have a great week.